I also have a very special guest sitting next to me, a strong advocate for young people driving change. Please welcome Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Thank you, V, for the very, uh, the very warm welcome. It's a pleasure to be here today celebrating the incredible achievements of young people who embody the spirit of the Diana Award. V, I'm especially honoured to have the chance to speak with you again. Your dedication to equality and justice has inspired many, including myself. Thank you. The feeling truly is mutual. Changing the world must be a collective global effort with everyone playing their role and utilising the platforms that they have. Well, sometimes it's easy to question one's ability to make a difference and your point about change for the better as a collective force is so important. When someone steps up to be of service, they automatically join this collective. No one is ever a conduit for change alone. Each one of us has the ability to help create a more equitable world and the brilliant award recipients we're honouring today are proof of that. They exemplify the notion that when we use our voices, change really can happen. And I completely agree that the world is a challenging place to navigate, but my strength comes from knowing that my voice can change things for the better, a strength shared with all the award recipients being recognised today. Absolutely, Evie. Your voice is a powerful voice. As we come together, I am reminded of the profound belief that my mother held in the transformative power of young people. She recognised their unique ability to challenge the status quo and push for a more inclusive and compassionate society. Her legacy continues to inspire and serve as an example of how to navigate the complexities of a whole world today. And so many of the numerous challenges that we face disproportionately affect young people and, of course, their futures. And whether it's climate change, mental well-being or systemic injustices, the obstacles can sometimes seem overwhelming. But what gives me hope is the collective power we possess when we work together, the strength in diversity of voices and perspectives that encompass it. And you're absolutely right. Thank you for all that you do to help elevate our voices and champion our work. Earlier this month, Prince Harry and Diana Award Chief Executive T. Tall met with the charity's Roll of Honor alumni in LA for a Conversations for Change session, a program created to bring youth together around a key social issue. Before the discussion, the Duke of Sussex surprised four of this year's Diana Award recipients with their certificates. Today, June 30th, a virtual ceremony honored 189 young changemakers from 31 countries, with both Prince William and Prince Harry separately recording videos to help introduce some of the recipients. When someone steps up to be of service, they automatically join this collective. No one is ever a conduit for change alone, said Harry. Each one of us has the ability to help create a more equitable world. Today, the Diana Award recognized over 180 exceptional young leaders who are transforming their communities and driving positive change. Founded in honor of Diana, Princess of Wales, the award recognizes youth aged 9 to 25 years old for their social action or humanitarian work, continuing the legacy of her belief that young people have the power to change the world. This year, the Diana Award recognized changemakers from 31 different countries, all united in their collective efforts to create a more equitable and inclusive world. 